Let's talk a little bit about timing the hook set when fly fishing for bass on the back cast. Ryan Williams is a guide in Northern California and he focuses and primarily his specialty is on lakes in Northern California, fly fishing for bass using the float and fly method and his take on that method and his unique approach with it. He's developed a lot with this and one of the elements that he was talking about is the hook set and kind of how to time that hook set and way to, the way to think about it when doing this particular fishing, uh, fly fishing with float and fly. When, when you're getting, getting hits, uh, that's a whole, whole subject in itself here for sure. So uh, the, takes, the takes that you get, they're really, really small. It's not just gonna go straight down like a trout grab. The bobber's just gonna drop down really slow or sometimes it'll, the bobber will tilt to its side. When the bobber tips to its side, that usually means a fish hit it moving upwards and there's no pressure on the fly, so the bobber tilts. Um, most of the time though, the tilts will look like this. It'll just be a little tilt and it'll go up. If it does that one time, I don't set. Now if it does it once and then it does it again, then I set. Uh, if it does it once and then uh, wait like 10, 20 seconds or whatever, and it does it again, that usually means that it was in the fish's mouth that whole time from the first tip to the second tip. So you, when you see that second little tip, that means it's time to set. Those types of grabs aren't quite as frequent as the uh, just the standard kind of bobber dropping grab, uh, but that's something to keep in mind, that little little uh, lift bite, little tip kind of twitch twitch grab. But most, so most of your takes though, it's just gonna be slowly dropping down. Uh, now it might slowly drop down and come back up, slowly drop down, come back up. Uh, it's really important that you set the hook while that bobber's moving down. That's the time to set the hook. If it drops down and then comes back up, you missed, you missed your opportunity. Just kind of wait on it. Usually the fish are gonna come back and uh, set that hook when, it's, when the bobber's going on its downward movement. So you just gotta give it time and don't be too quick on the on the hook sets completely different than trout fishing completely different if you want to learn a lot of information check out ryan williams with north valley fly fishing he guides uh, in northern california on many of the lakes up there and his specialty is focusing on bass and warm water species using a method of float and fly that he has developed and uh, if you want to get in touch with him, he would be a great resource. I had a great time out in Lake Oroville with him and learned a ton. So get in touch with us. We'll put you in contact with him. He also in the fall uh, guides as well on the Feather River. So uh, let us know and we'll put you in contact with Ryan. We'll see you all next time on the Backcast.